You know, I think uh, we're working on a once in a lifetime opportunity. In their lifetimes, people only get one, maybe two if they're lucky, but often only one big thing that they can work on. And many of those people don't have an opportunity to make a real impact on that thing. They have a way to participate in it. They have a way to see it happen, but they don't all have a way to really drive it forward, make it work better and have an impact on it and have a kind of way to make the world better in a meaningful way. And so for me, I've been working on startup things for well over, um, I would say 15 years. Many of them didn't work out, learned a lot of hard lessons, learned a lot of things the, the, the painful way, um, which seems to be the way that I learn things, unfortunately. Um, and, and at the end of the day, you arrive at a place where you kind of realize the value of what you have. And in looking at what we're building, I think the thing that I've realized is that this is my chance and the chance of many people working on Chainlink to make an indelible lasting mark on how the world works. And so that is something very exciting. And after you've worked on a few things that don't go anywhere, you really value that. And I think you value that in ways that people that haven't struggled to get to that point really can't value and can't understand. So I think that's, that's one of the main things. I think the second big thing on a personal level is self-improvement. So I think there's, there's two ways to view the world. One way is to view challenges as, as, uh, as problems that are horrible and have been forced on you and uh, there's an unfairness dimension and all this bad stuff is happening and kind of have a woe is me uh, kind of victim mentality of, of how hard everything is. And even if that's true, even if that's the case, I don't think that's the productive way to go through life. I think it's completely counterproductive, even if it's true, even if it's the case. The way to go through life, in my opinion, is to view challenges as opportunities, as opportunities for personal growth. And so the amount of challenges that I had to face in making those 15 companies, uh, 15 different projects, 15 different things, have been very large. And it was very painful to learn things in a way where obviously I made a mistake and I was at fault and I didn't do something right and I didn't realize something and something wasn't done the way it should have been and it was, it was my fault. But the benefit of that, if you can learn from that, is that you become better. You become a better version of yourself. And so I think that that's uh, what I'm trying to consistently do. I'm trying to consistently, with, with creating the least amount of mistakes, but viewing problems and challenges as opportunities. And we have a lot of challenges we need to overcome to build the Chainlink network um, as a community and as, and as a group of people at Chainlink Labs working on Chainlink and, and a whole bunch of other people. And I think that that's really the right way to view those challenges is that if you can solve this challenge, you're a little bit closer to being the important, valuable thing that is necessary in this world. And it's the same thing for, for, for being a person. If you can overcome a challenge, you've become a little better. And I think that that kind of personal growth is something I'm, I'm interested in. And I'm gonna continue doing by, by working on hard things and solving hard problems by, by seeing them, them also as an opportunity for growth. And then I guess I would say the final thing is, I'm very lucky to work with very smart people. And I frankly don't know how I would interact with people smarter than these people if I did anything else. So I'm, I'm sometimes um, finding myself walking away from meetings, Zoom meetings or even in-person meetings, and I find myself walking back and thinking, man, what a smart person. What, what an amazing kind of thoughtful point of view. I just, I just had an opportunity to discuss with, uh, you know, people like Ari Jules, or chief scientist or, or others. And, you know, that in and of itself is a pretty big reward. And when you work on something that's a hard problem, that has real value, that can change the world, you have this amazing, amazing opportunity to work with other really smart people that you get to have these fascinating, interesting conversations with, which realistically, I don't understand how I would have those conversations if I wasn't working on this with them. And I got to say that it's, it's really a highlight for me to work with some of the great smart people in our, in our team and in our community and in the blockchain industry and in, even in the capital markets industry. And so I'm just very grateful to, to be able to go through life, um, you know, working on something I find interesting, overcoming hard problems to become better, 
and being able to talk and, and work with uh, smart people that I respect and that I learn from. So I would say those are the three things that, uh, that really, uh, I think, pushed me forward.